2020 presidential election continues to point to the future of greater political violence in the U.S. Now, a new survey from the University of Chicago suggests that as many as 21 million adults sympathize with the rioters. And cares that Yusuf covers domestic That's extremism. That's a big camp. Welcome back to the program. Thank you. Uh, how is this movement described in the study? Well, Adi, the 21 million sits at the Venn diagram intersection of two beliefs. First, the lie that the election was stolen and that President Biden is an illegitimate president. And second, that using force to restore President, former President Trump to the White House is justified. And this study from the 21 Chicago million Project people supposedly believe that the National Opinion Research Center calls this population the American insurrectionist movement. And does it detail about five percent demographics of the movement? Yeah, the profile of the average person here is that they're a late millennial or Gen Xer living in an urban or suburban place where their political and ideological beliefs aren't popular and who may kind of feel under siege. But what really separates them, Adi, from the rest of the body politic in the U.S. is that they appear to believe in a conspiracy theory called the Great Replacement. This is the University of Chicago's Robert Pace. They are very concerned about the idea that the rights of whites are being overtaken by the rights of minorities. So they're white supremacists. The Democratic Party is deliberately bringing in immigrants in order to change the demographics in the country. So they're racist, white supremacists. To disenfranchise the current conservative voters. You know, Adi, the Great Replacement Conspiracy Theory has existed on the fringe for years, but now we're seeing it increasingly in mainstream American discourse. How mainstream and what are the implications? 